Hello, beautiful people around the world. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. I hope everyone is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. Shout out to my warrior for sending this over, this article by Greg Garrison. And this is five types of homes that will plummet in value in 2024. Hope y'all ready for this, man. That good old real estate, that good old property. Man, oh man. As the real estate market constantly evolves, certain types of homes are more likely to decrease in value in 2024. The trend can be influenced by various factors such as economic conditions, shift in buyer purposes, and changes in environmental policy. Oh man, homes in climate vulnerable areas, homes located in regions prone to climate related disasters such as coastal areas, to hurricanes, flood zones, regions at high risk of wildfires, could see a significant drop in value. And uh, we've <laughs> already seen that <laughs> for quite a while now. I mean, yeah. And even over here, there was like a section of homes over here, man, that literally we, we even have to help them out a couple times when it flooded. But over here on our street and other streets, it does not flood. But over here, it floods. And we had to go help out, you know, our <laughs> neighbors around those tough times man and again we've seen people r running away from 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 those from those houses in that in that area in that coat in those cul-de-sacs you know tough but uh the increasing frequency in severity of climate related disasters have heightened awareness and caution among buyers insurance costs in these areas are skyrocketing in some cases, insurance companies are withdrawing coverage altogether. This makes homes in, th in these regions less attractive to buyers, leading to a decrease in demand and a, a fall in property values. Oh, man. Outdated single family homes. This is another one. Single family homes that have not even been updated. Re 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 renovated in decades don't hold as much appeal to buyers. Today's home buyers are looking for modern amenities, energy efficient systems, and homes that require minimal renovation. Property properties that are outdated with old heating systems, poor insulation, outdated kitchens and bathrooms, and lack of smart home technology are becoming increasingly difficult to sell at premium prices. <laughs> Did y'all see that video of that home that the guy bought back in like 19? 80 it was 87 and he bought the house and he was so busy with work he never even lived in the home so he was always working but he owned the home and he passed away uh recently and now um they got videos all over the internet tiktok of the home and it's lit the house is still brand new and it even has the original stuff from 19, the 1980s. It was like, it was pretty amazing to see. But yeah. But let's, re let's go back into it. As buyer purposes continue to evolve towards modern, sustainable, and tech-friendly homes, the gap in value between updated and outdated homes is expected to widen. Let's see what else is going <laughs> to drop in value. <laughs> Luxury urban condos. The pandemic shifted many people's preferences away from dense urban living to more spacious suburban or royal homes. The trend may continue in 2024, affecting the value of luxury urban condos, high-end condos in city centers, which once commanded premium prices for their location and amenities, as are facing decreased demand. As remote work becomes more normalized, people are prioritizing space and comfort over permit to urban job centers. Additionally, the high maintenance fees associated with luxury condos are becoming a dirty for buyers, leading to a decrease in these properties' values. Let's see what it is. Homes near polluting industry. <laughs> oh, man. Polluting industries. I'm not saying industry. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. But anyways, properties located near polluting industries such as f factories, refineries, uh, heavily traffic highways are expected to see a decline in value. Oh, man. So if 
and I think I, we, we read an article not long ago. Yeah, houses next to factories, heavy traffic highways. It, I mean, it's it's tough, man. Increasing awareness and concern over environmental health and air quality are influencing buyer preferences. Homes in these areas are often subject to poor air quality, noise pollution, and other environmental hazards, making them less desirable. As the market shifts towards healthier living environments, these homes are expected to decrease in attractiveness and value. Oversized properties in declining neighborhoods. <laughs> Talking about the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oversized properties, particularly those in neighborhoods experiencing ec- economical decline with d- diminishing local amenities are projected to decrease in value. These homes often come with high maintenance costs and property taxes, which can s- significantly burden without corresponding lifestyle or community benefits. As smaller homes... And communities with strong local communities and economic become more popular. The demand for large properties in declining areas is expected to wane, leading to a drop in their market value. While these homes may decrease in value, several factors contribute to the predicted decline in value of these uh, home types. Economical uncertainties, changing buyer preferences towards subvenium, economy, and the impact of climate change are primary drivers. The shift towards remote work is altering the traditional demand for properties in urban centers. The real estate market is highly responsive to the, these trends, and homes do not align with emerging purposes or face increased risk or likely to see a decrease in value. All right, you guys. So that there it is. Homes near polluting industries. So if you live north towards a factory. A high traffic highway. Hey, good luck. Oversized properties in declining neighborhoods. Outdated single family homes. Homes in climate vulnerable areas. Man. Luxury urban condos. Luxury urban condos. Yeah, man. Hope y'all take that in with a grain of salt again. I just, I'm just doing this quick video read, and my English and vocabulary is a little off. I'm a little out of it today. I've been all over the place, but sorry for that, you guys. But there it is, man. As again, I'm trying to stay more into the market, keep you guys updated on what's going on. But that is the five types of homes that will plummet in value in 2024 right now. Um, and again, we're just in the mar- in, the, in the market as far as these articles and things can always change you never know how this thing will play out but again i'm wishing the best in everybody's life in 2024 and that you know you make good decisions and maybe you come across a good old piece of real estate an appreciating asset that'll help you out in the long run some of y'all out there buying these these vehicles these uh, depreciating assets keeping you in a a boatload of debt and bringing you down. Take that money and get you an appreciating asset. Don't take that money and buy that new car. But hey, if you want that car, get that car. Because life is short. And life can be shorter than expected. But hey, I'm just here to make sure you have an okay life. And um, as we stay in the market, stay updated on what's going on with housing, um, the auto industry. As we stay updated i just want you guys to make good decisions man and that you're aware but i love you guys if you're new to the channel join the okay life family um my homie finally sent me a video we're gonna do um because i was looking for a door dasher in the discord chat who worked on the super bowl so i'm gonna go do that video next um and i think he i think he made three or four hundred dollars in a day which is pretty amazing so I can't wait to go check that video out and see what went on. But, hey, love you guys. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Yay!